ஜன்மயம் சர்வம் பிரம்மயம் பேரே சர்வம் பிரம்மயம் பேரே சர்வம் Good morning Good morning yeah <laughs> Namaste is the audio is clear audio is okay Yes sir Okay okay we'll start Yes sir it's okay Okay Om Sri Gurubhyo Namaha Hari Om Om Sada Shiva Samarambham Shankara Acharya Madhyamam अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरां शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव पादरायण सूत्रभाष्यतौ वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः गुरब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णुर्गुर्देव महेशर गुरसाक्षात्म ब्रह्मा तस्म श्रीगुरव नम वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु ओं पार्थय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायण न स्वयं व्यास न ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वामसंदा भगवद्गीते भगवद्वेशिणी नमोस्तु ते व्यास विशाल बुद्धे फुलाविंदात पत्रनेत्रया भारत तैलपूर्ण प्रज्वालि ज्वालिज्ञानमय प्रदीप प्रपन्न पारिजातायात्रेकपाण ज्ञान मुद्रा कृष्णा गीतामृतदुहे नम सर्वोपनिषदो गावो दुग्धा गोपालन दन पार्थो वत्सुधीर्भोक्ता दुग्ध गीतामृत महत वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंद कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु भीष्मद्रोणतटा जयद्रथ जलागाधारनीलोपला शल्यग्राहवती कृपेण वहनी कर्णेन वेलाकुला अश्वत्थम कर्णघोरमकरा दुर्योधना वर्ति सोत्तीर्ना खलु पांडवैरण नदी कैवर्तक केशव पाराशर्यपच सरोजमल गीतागंधोत्कटम नानाख्यानक केसर हरिकथा संबोधना बोधित लोके सज्जन षटपदर हर पेपीयम मुदा भूयाद भारत पंकज कलिमल प्रध्वंसी न श्रेयसे मूक कौति वाचा पंगु लंघयते गिरी यत्तम वंदे परमानंदमाधव यं ब्रह्मा वरुणेन्द्र रुद्रमरतस्तुन्न दिव्यस्तव वेद सांगपद क्रमोपनिषदेर्गायती यं सामगा ध्यानावस्थित मनसा 
पश्यम योगिनो यस्यांतम न विदुसुरासुरगणा देवाय तस्म नम ओ गुड मॉर्निंग एंड नमस्कार टू ऑल वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग श्रीमद भगवदगीता वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग श्रीमद भगवदगीता एंड वी आर इन द नाइन्थ चैप्टर राज विद्या राज गुह्य योगम uh we are in the last uh, three verses 32 33 and 34 and uh, today we will be uh, concluding uh, this chapter raja vidya raja guhya yogam <coughs> today is a uh, auspicious day also vinayaka chaturthi day okay <coughs> 32nd verse पार्थ व्यपाश्रि ये बिस्यु पाप योन स्त्रि वैश्यास्थाशूद्रास्ते यांति परा गति मि पार्थ व्यपाश्रि ये पिस्यु पाप योन स्त्रि वैश्यास्थाशूद्रास्ते यांति परा गति Bhagavan already told that my devotee, my devotee, whoever is my bhakta, never perishes, even if that individual is a bad person, even durachara etc. Already Bhagavan explained that even if that person is a durachari, he even is uh, uh, that person is a uh, you know immoral. Uh, he will also if he has got the uh, ananya bhakti if he is in the path of spirituality and if that person has got ananya bhakti he will definitely attain me bhagavat prapti is sure so bhagavan continues the promise he says o partha <coughs> ye pi ye pi papa yonayah hey arjuna those who are Papa Yoneha means in the lineage of sinners, okay? In the seniors of sinners, that means sons or daughters or etc. Who are in the lineage of uh, the father or mother or you know they are sinners. For example, even if they are Papa Yoneha, Striha, Vaishyaha, Tatha, Shudraha, Striha. Here, Striha means those. Uh, ladies or women who are born to say who are in the fallen category you know that like uh, prostitutes or prostitution or the drug dealers all that we can think of if they if they are born to such uh, people even then okay striha see in shrimad bhagavatam there is a story of uh, uh, pingala pingala was he he was a sorry she was a uh, devadasi she was a prostitute and uh, she used to wait for men and then one day she was waiting and waiting and then till midnight also even after midnight nobody came and then she was waiting further and till morning also then in between she had this you know strong vairagyam towards this world etc and uh, she realized i mean already she had she she must have heard a lot of uh, you know uh, the uh, no knowledge about bhagavan etc and she also pingala also had with strong vairagyam and gnanam she also became a saint pingala also uh, moksham was possible for even pingala oh, so if a person who is uh, in that level also he can attain moksham it is definitely possible for others for us there is no doubt about it okay so sriya there are so many so many examples we can give in shrimad bhagavatam kunti kunti devi gandhari devi draupadi all of them right they all of them they suffered a lot but they all attained moksham because of that ananya bhakti towards bhagavan so the, the there are so many other saints also in uh, gargi maitreyi anusuya right arundhati mirabai 
then in kerala you can see kururamma there are so many other yogini amma then we can we must have heard about andal uh, right in in our times uh, i mean slightly earlier avudayakkal avudayakka then from karnataka uh, i haven't heard much but uh, the a great saint akka mahadevi right then avvayar we know avvayar then karekkelamma there are so many sharada devi sri ramakrishna paramahamsa sharada devi anandamayi ma in our times there are so many right in gopikas all gopikas of Baha, srimad bhagavatam all they are all realized souls they are all saints okay so it is uh, uh, so it is not that one person is born to in a bad uh, uh lineage or something it is not a hindrance for uh, gnanam right if you if you take uh, normal discourses you will see that most of the satsangs you know most of the satsang you will see most most of them are women only ladies only so you take srimad bhagavatam saptaham or narayaniyam or even any any if you go to any vedanta uh satsang you will find uh, most of them are ladies only so uh, it appears that uh the women they have more uh, sufferings in life right from the childhood maybe maybe not i am i may not be correct also but generally we can see that they do a lot of uh, you know service to the right from the time they are born or in their uh, when they give birth or even after that also most of the most of the time they devote their time and uh, service for the others you know so they definitely the the women definitely are more uh, appears to be suffering right but as we know that since we are in this uh, path of spirituality we know that uh, they are more uh, blessed more blessed that they will attain they will uh, realize uh, they will uh, get bhagavat prapti much faster right so that is why bhagavan said striya then vaishyaha vaishyas are uh, the people who are in the business community uh, business people business people who do uh, <coughs> Uh, who are in the industry or who are farming and uh, you know vaishya they are the business class people so they also see they have got uh, the problem of they are more rajasik they are more rajasik and uh, uh, tamogunam tamogunam and uh, rajogunam is more in them you know so uh, they are also and uh, shudras shudras are the people who do service for the others who do service but they are they do they have tamogunam is much more see whenever you hear the word vaishyas shudras brahmanas kshatriyas etc we have to get rid of the notion of caste okay we should never ever think that when you hear the word brahmana or kshatriya vaishya shudra etc we should remove the caste thing from our mind okay it is only by the gunas their qualities so bhagavan said chaturvarnyam maya srishtam guna karma vibhagasah it's very clear there is absolutely no doubt about this never think that brahmana means one who is born in the brahmin caste similarly when you hear the vaishyas does not mean they, they are born in a particular caste shudras does not mean they are born in a particular caste it is only by guna that means even when someone is born in a born someone is born in a brahmin family can be a vaishya or a brahmana or a shudra or a kshatriya similarly for all all others even if someone is born in a shudra by caste they can be brahmana or vaishya or kshatriya or shudra okay so never go by the classification that is mentioned in bhagavad gita by caste okay i underline this words 
never ever think the moment you hear brahmana means one who is born in a brahmin caste but by gunas they are brahmin by gunas right so uh, so we we can think of uh, such see like vidura vidura is in shrimad uh, Bhaga, Mahabharatam we can see you must have heard about Vidura Vidura is uh, born into a Shudra Stri right born caste by caste but he is a Brahmana right similarly Vedavyasa Vedavyasa is a Brahmana he is a Brahmakyani but not in the Brahmin caste ok so you can take of many others say Purandaradars. Purandaradar was he was a businessman. Patanattar he was a businessman, but they all became saints. Okay, so it has got this Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, this Varna Vivechanam, you know, Varna uh, Varna Vyavastha, sorry, Varna Vyavastha, this classification, this classification is only by their gunas. Okay, Sattva Rajas Tamo Gunas. These gunas that uh, define the character of a person wherever whichever caste that person is born okay so it is the andhakarana gunam it is the inner gunas that is more important factor to decide the varna okay the varna that is the varna is these are the four varnas which we discuss now brahmana Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudras. So these are the Varna that is explained in Bhagavad Gita. Otherwise, the explanation of this verse as well as that verse, Chadur Varnya Mayasritam, everything will be wrong and such explanations are not to be taken. So here what is Bhagavan says, uh, Vaishya, even if they are born as women, uh, Vaishya, Vaishyas, that is uh, in a uh, those who have got more rajasic and tamasic qualities are there then shudraha more of tamasic tamogunam because they have got a lot of uh, uh, desires are there but they are not ready to put in their uh, maximum efforts you know they are not ready to work towards the goals but goals are many okay many desires sorry many desires are there but they are unable to fulfill their desires they are unable to put in that much effort okay so that is tamogunam more of them even then if it is there even then they they api okay if they do maam vyapasritya if they worship me worship me means worship me ananya bhajanam okay without any other thought without having uh, 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 desires for other things you know money property etc if they are turning inwards if they are turning their attention towards Bhagavan if they are turning their att attention towards Atma that is Maam Paramatma if they worship me Maam Vyapasritya Param Gatim Yanti He 100% sure that they will reach Brahma Padam Param Gatim Yanti He Okay, say O Partha, even those born of impure lineage, right, impure lineage, taking refuge in me, if they do Sharanagadi to me, Paramatma, they shall attain the ultimate goal as Paramgadi means ultimate goal is Brahma Anubhavam, Brahma Prapti, Brahma Padam, Brahma Narvanam, Moksham, Mukti, all are same only. So they will definitely, he, 100% they will, they will attain Moksham if they do Ananya Bhakti. That means no one in this world is, is not capable, right? To attain moksha everyone is capable the only qualification that is necessary is ananya bhakti only bhakti devotion towards me paramatma Devers, devotion that is the only thing that is necessary so bhagavan says mam hi parthabhya paashritya ye pisyuh papayo nayaha striyo vaishyas tadha shudraha Tepi Yanti Param Gatim. So it is not important at all where someone is born. Okay. Not even the outside appearances of these people. 
not outward appearances it can be anything okay even then even the karma also the outside karma that you generally see as this karma is auspicious karma that karma is inferior karma nothing like that or any karma let them do any karma see perfect example is the dharma vyadha of in mahabharata vyadha the the karma that he was doing is he was uh, selling meat he was a butcher so he was selling meat he is a jnani so and uh, uh, swami vivekananda always quotes uh, dharma vyadha story so it it is doesn't matter it doesn't matter uh, what uh, sort of karma someone is doing okay it can be any karma it can be uh, he can be a tailor or he can be a cobbler or he can be a cook he can be a, a teacher he can be a scholar he can be a vaidika or any job doesn't matter doctor engineer anything space scientist doesn't matter what job someone is doing this outside karma is not important but the andhkarana gunam the qualities of the mind okay the sattva rajas tamo gunas it should be more of a sattvam there should be no tamo gunam at all the rajasik one we are trying to eliminate by upasanas etc and every everyone wherever he is he or she is born is capable of attaining mukti or moksha and that is 100% sure that is a promise given by bhagavan here then already said su duracharah okay papa yonayah or they are all eligible for moksha if so how about this uh, uh brahmanas and kshatriyas definitely they will get again whenever i say this word brahmanas and kshatriyas do not get confused by the caste okay so it is a definite possibility for brahmanas and kshatriyas that is what bhagavan says in the next verse 33 kim punar brahmana punya bhakta rajarshayas tatha anityam asukham lokam Imam prapya bhajaswamam. One more time. <coughs> Kim punar brahmana punya bhakta rajarshayas tatha anitya masukham lokam imam prapya bhajaswamam. <coughs> punya ha brahmana ha. Brahmana ha. Who are with the, the qualities of brahmana they have who have done a lot of punya karma okay who have done a lot of good karmas in this life or the previous lives previous lives they have done a lot of good karmas good punya karmas because of which the qualities of the they are uh, they they are in the path of spirituality from the very beginning of their life only okay they will be born in a family where the lot of uh, devotional activities are happening okay and they will be directed towards the path of spirituality very fast they will be directed towards the path of spirituality circumstances will lead it will allow them to enter into the path of spirituality at a very young age or even later also doesn't matter but only by doing a lot of good karmas punya karmas so because of this punya karma phalam these brahmanah tadha bhaktah rajarshayah similarly rajarshayah the king royal saints okay rajarshay means royal saints we have heard the story of uh, uh, vishwamitra right vishwamitra saint vishay vishwamitra by manu 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 the the first one manu got his brahmajnanam from right straight away from bhagavan vivaswan from the sun directly from him and uh, manu then later ikshwagu and uh, <coughs> there are many many kings you know in that uh, in that lineage manu vivaswan then janaka then in bhagavata there are so many kings only they are all ambarish charitam you can see ikshwagu then 
ரிஷபயோகேஸ்வரர் இன் ஸ்ரீமத் பாகவதம் வை அர்ஜுனா அர்ஜுனா இஸ் லிசனிங் டு இட் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ் புண்ணிய கர்மா இஸ் அ கஷத்ரியா இஸ் குட் அ லாட் ஆஃப் புண்ணிய கர்மா சி ஹஸ் டன் அர்ஜுனா தென் பரீட்சித் அட் அ வெரி யங் ஏஜ் பரீட்சித் had a very strong vairagyam and then he left his kingdom etc and then sat in samadhi right in samadhi for atmajnanam and then shuka brahmam straight away entered there and then gave shrimad bhagavatam we all know that so all of them are kings only they are all royal royal people but they became uh, saints because of their bhakti because of their devotion that is why it's called bhaktaha bhaktaha uh, rajarshayaha tatha bhaktaha rajarshayaha kim punaha why not they will not get why they won't get they will definitely get because the sattvic qualities are much more in brahmanas and kshatriyas because they have got they don't have any tamogunam tamogunam is very 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 minimum and most mostly it is sat- sattvic qualities are much more in brahmanas and in kshatriyas uh, rajasic qualities also they also dominate but they have got uh, sattvic gunas because of this they are devo- mostly you will see in the stories that they have got a lot of satsanga satsanga this uh, uh, kings which uh, we are we mentioning they had always connected with the saints like uh, vasishta you know that uh, in uh, sri mad ramayanam vasishta gave uh, the atma vidya to uh, rama you must have uh, listened uh, heard uh, yoga vasishtam you must read yoga vasishtam so in yoga vasishtam is uh, jnana vasishtam which is called or jnana ramayanam where the atma jnanam is given to rama when rama was a very young age so that given by vasishta only so like that you will see that all the royal people of olden times uh, they always had satsanga king janaka always had uh, vedanta satsanga in his uh, uh, court always uh, this uh, yagnavalkya and uh, so many other rishis uh, they used to come and then have discussion on uh, vedanta and upanishads so due to this constant connection with uh, satsanga they all became saints they are enlightened so it is uh, it is not that uh, only brahmanas brahmanas also and kshatriyas also okay so kim punar so why not if duracharaha if somebody who is in the path of uh, you know uh, in the wrong path he or she also gets atmajnanam uh, uh, and can become a saint and also the vaishyas who have got more rajasic qualities who have got more tamogunam sudras all of them when all of them can attain moksha why not brahmanas and kshatriyas definitely that is what he says kim punar brahmanaha punyaha bhaktaha rajarshayas tatha then then this anityam asukham logam imam imam anityam asukham logam prapya that is this lokam you know this the world that we perceive this world is anityam right it is anityam we know that every moment this is constantly changing it is anityam the thing that is there yesterday is not there today many people have come and gone many people died in our families and around also it is anityam no one is permanent here not a single thing is permanent here right you see a building today tomorrow it is not there you see a barber shop yesterday today it is not there a shopping complex you see after one week it is a hospital so it is constantly it is anityam there is nothing permanent the small earthquake the whole thing is vanished you see vayanad in kerala the whole the town is uh, uh, destroyed by uh, uh, that uh, landslide etc you know so this world is anityam because of this karma chalanam every moment somebody is doing some karma and it constantly it is changing and that is why it is anityam the world that is there a moment before is not the world now and also nothing is permanent this body is not permanent right nobody is permanent here money is not permanent property is not permanent everything there will be a separation between the 
uh, the thing that you are getting attached to and uh, this is anityam and because of this because of this anityam anything that is not permanent will definitely cause suffering okay anything that is not permanent anything that we hold on to which is not permanent which will not be there tomorrow will definitely cause suffering that is why anityam asukham anityam asukham lokam this lokam the way you see lokam means lochyate whatever you are seeing whatever you are experiencing as a, a duality right the dual duality is the thing which we normally look at that is why this lokam which is constantly changing we are unable to see that thing which is permanent what is that thing which is permanent the chaitanyam right the bodham factor the conscious factor the consciousness factor the atma factor which is always real which which is never born which will never die right na jayate mriyate va kadachit atma that atma which we don't realize without seeing that atma or the brahman or god or this consciousness we are always seeing the things that is changing because of which we end up in suffering so the point is from the dualistic nature of this world we must see the non dual thing vastu the non dual thing we must be able to see we must be able to visualize we must be able to understand this non dual thing in everything around us which is permanent which is not there yesterday which is always there yesterday which will be there today which will always be there which is never born which never dies we must see that non dual atma and that only gives us happiness seeing that everything is atma alone everything is atma alone see in taittiriya upanishad tasma dva edasma dhatmana akasha sambhutah from this atma only even the akasha is appearing right so that which appears in atma has to be atma only so this the space that we see is an appearance of atma if we can understand this there is no nothing more to understand because everything else has come out from this akasha only the space only and the space is an appearance in consciousness realize this factor think meditate on this point in this consciousness the akasha appears okay so that atma which is real which is permanent that is the only nityam so if anityam is asukham nityam has to be sukham that nityam that purnam okay bhuma vai sukham na alpe sukham asti bhuma bhuma means in uh, chandokya upanishad bhuma is the word used for brahman bhuma purnam that which is purnam which is complete which is sat chit ananda swarupam that reality that one we must see so uh, this logam that we see the dualistic logam that we see is anityam which is perishable which gets destroyed moment to moment that is always asukam this logam imam lokam know that this imam logam prapya samho or other we landed here by our ignorance in our previous life past life by our ignorance because of our ignorance because of our karma vasanas this body is produced and landed here prapya means we are in this world because of our own ignorance okay this anityam asukham imam lokam in this world by our own ignorance we landed here we prapya we are here now as it is mam bhajaswa so the way to get out of this from this anitya masugham logam the way to get out is mam bhajaswa you must worship me 
ओके यू मस्ट वर्शिप मी किम पुनर्ब्राह्मणा पुण्या भक्ता राजर्षयस्तदा अनित्यम असुखम लोगम इमं प्राप्य भजस्वमाम ओके हैविंग देर फोर हैविंग कम टू दिस वर्ल्ड having landed up here because of our ignorance because of our ignorance this prarabdha is there okay that prarabdha is this shariram with which we have we are born hmm? with this uh, yeah which is transient and sorrowful you worship me bhajaswamam okay so the only thing that we have to do here after landed up here okay in this world with a human body the only then that that the only thing that we have to do the only purpose of our life must be bhajaswamam worship god love god devotion towards god nothing else is important nothing else in this world is important that we have understood through our own experiences of this world that is why we say that anityam asukham lokam this lokam where we are in is anityam and because of that anityam reason it is asukham whereas we realize our true nature that true nature is bhagavan and have devotion have devotion and offer all our karmas whatever is our swadharmam and the karma phalam etc offer to bhagavan okay and by offering everything to god we get rid of that is upasana okay by by getting rid of all our raga and dvesha we realize our true nature that is the real bhakti through which we will attain bhagavat prapti we will attain god bhajaswamam see <coughs> even though see you take the case of uh, duryodhana duryodhana is a born kshatriya he is a kshatriya but because of the greed because of his greed his own greed he fell from his position of kshatriya much below because of his greed towards the property and things like that right so it is not it is not uh, uh, not only even if somebody is born in a particular caste being born in a kshatriya caste he had more greed he fell from his place from kshatriya down similarly dronacharya he is born in a brahmin family right he is born in a brahmin caste but because of the revenge and his rajasic qualities he fell from there he fell from that uh, from that qualities he did not have right so you can you cannot call dronacharya as a brahmana because as per gunas he fell from the brahmana even though he was born in a brahmin family he came down to the level of uh chatriya you can say right so it is not that one who is born in a particular caste but again the same thing which i am repeating it should be the by the qualities only one decides uh, where he stands which classification under which category he, he is there whether he is a brahmana or kshatriya or vaishya or shudra okay so here again duryodhana drona these are few examples uh, okay few examples he had you know dronacharya he had fight with drupada acharya drupada king drupada etc you can i think uh, one of our uh, classes we had discussed this story okay so punyaha brahmanaha bhaktaha rajarshayaha okay right so they, they if they continue if they continue uh, their devotion towards bhagavan definitely they will also definitely they will attain god bhagavat prapti is for sure so i hey arjuna you should continue your swadharmam you continue your swadharmam as a kshatriya as karma yoga perform your action do not worry about the result whether you will win this war 
or whether you will lose this war whether you will die in this war or whether you will kill others do not think all this do your karma as a karma yoga you surrender all your karma and your karma phalam to me bhajaswa mam you do offer everything to me okay you worship me paramatma so like that bhagavan continues kim punar brahmana punya भक्ताजर्षयस्तथ अनीसुखम लोकम इम प्राप्य भजस्व सी द इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेज हियर इज इम अनीसुखम लोकम प्राप्य दट इज फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस संभव वी हैव लैंडेड हियर एंड द ओनली वे इज भजस्व ओके वर्शिप वर्शिप भगवान हैव भक्ति टुवर्ड्स भगवान टुवर्ड्स द कॉन्शियस्नेस and realize the consciousness do upasana do surrender to me alone that is the main thing which we have to take from this three, two three verses anitya masukham logam imam prapya bhajaswamam now the question is bhajaswamam okay all this outer you know outer hunting hunting for this money property name fame etc health health of the body all this outer hunting is leads to death all this outer hunting ultimately leads to death what does that mean it is because it is anityam that's all it is anityam either this body gets destroyed health get destroyed or the money or property there will be loss there will be separation it ends up in death only because the identification of our true nature is with the body right that is the reason why all this hunting happens hunting for things and uh, you know other things and it ultimately leads to death only but the moment we take the noble step the moment we take our uh path of spirituality when we choose the real path of spirituality when we start looking inwards what is my true nature okay and we know we understand that that is the only thing which is shashvatam bhagavan is the only shashvatam thing when we know that that shashvatam sthanam where there is eternal sukham you know ultimate bliss bhuma vai sukham na alpe sukham asti we already discussed that and that only to be bhajaswa how how are we going to worship the lord hmm? with full love so bhagavan concludes this chapter with the last verse how to do bhajanam it's a beautiful verse it can be meditated <coughs> 34th slogan is a fantastic verse manmana bhava madbhaktah madhyaji mam namaskuru mame vaishyasi yuktvaivam atmanam matparayanah manmana bhava madbhaktah madhyaji mam namaskuru मामे कीप योर माइंड ऑलवेज एस्टाब्लिश्ड इन मी इन भगवान कीप योर माइंड इन मी एट ऑल टाइम्स ओके मनमना सी द माइंड please listen carefully the mind normally does two things one is sankalpam or bhavana okay bhavana sankalpam imagination you can see imagination imagine things we imagine things differently okay we imagine everything differently that is dualistic nature we imagine things see a thing that somebody sees suppose i see something we imagine that to be something else see for example you see uh, a flesh and blood 
okay that flesh and blood each one looks at that flesh and blood differently for example a husband looks at his wife's flesh and blood as wife whereas the same flesh and blood will be looked upon as a daughter by her parents similarly her children will look at the same flesh and blood as mother okay it's small small example only i am giving so a, an object okay will be imagined differently by different people this is applicable in everything see you go to a temple there is a deity over there a bhakta will see bhagavan in that stone whereas somebody who has never gone to a temple he will see only is it as a stone only there will be no devotion inside that person's heart is it not so similarly it is all everyone's imagination that is this dualistic world and every mind is always doing this only this way or that way we imagine things okay we imagine this is what we do this imagination is full of dualistic nature that is this is different that is different this is human being this is woman this is man this is animal etc we imagine things this is money this is money this is dollars like many things we always imagine and build up stories on it we build up stories many many things i lost something i lost money i gained property now i am this i have become uh, the top position somewhere in that office i am the i am heading it so this is my position here oh i fell down i got i lost my job many 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 things we imagine it's all it's everything is an imagination of the mind it's the mind this is what we do every mind does one is imagination okay and then what to do with names and forms we have to teach the mind we have to teach the mind that all these are are names and forms only when you see various ornaments right necklace bangles earring etc you start seeing the gold we start seeing the gold in the names and forms like the necklace and gold similarly whatever we see whatever we smell whatever we taste everything every objects of this world that we see the true nature of all this is consciousness atma in that atma the see for this first we have to realize ourselves we have to realize what is my true nature am i this body am i this mind am i this intellect and what tool we use mind only we have to use the mind manasai vedam aptavyam there is no other tool we have we have this tool mind with which we do our own true nature enquiry and in this self enquiry we realize that the changing thing the body which is constantly changing is not me the mind which is constantly changing is not me then who am i and the scriptures say you are atma and for this you don't need anyone else to give you a uh, confirmation we ourselves have to sit even when you sit in a dark room and think that i am there is it not yes i am always there it is not the body there is something else in me that i am doesn't change when i am a small boy or a small girl or when i am in my youth or when i become old at all times the i am nature is always same there is no increase or decrease in this i am nature and what is that i am nature comes from this i am nature is the reflection in my own mind of 
the original existence or consciousness the original consciousness when it reflects in this mind it says i so basically it is like uh, the sun is there you have got various spots with water the sun's reflection you can see in this various spots the reflection is what is reflecting in your mind as i am and this i am is not the original thing the original thing is like the sun the original is that which reflects the original that is what is i am my true nature that existence that existence i realize in myself first and when it reflects in the mind this i am comes okay so this knowing that i my true nature is existence the original consciousness is the chit okay knowing that i am this existence is the chit or that which knows everything is chit okay so existence i know i exist and i know that when i look outside i see everything is the reflection of the same thing or the manifestation of the same thing manifestation of that existence which is in me is the same in everywhere which is akhanda so there is no difference between the sat and chit which knows also is the same so that which is sat and chit which is everywhere when it is purnam when it is complete when it is non dual that is ananda okay that is the anandam nature so once i know this true nature as satchidananda that is my true nature this bhavana this must be done this is the real bhavana which we have to do rather than looking outside and differentiating this is man this is woman etc when we see all of that we must see atma alone that is atma bhavana abhyasam okay this is the sankalpam which we should have the sankalpa when we do this various things comes and goes when i when i imagine a oh, cat then immediately i see something else or i imagine elephant so like that when this vritti is going on we must see everything as atma alone so when we do this this is the atma bhavana abhyasam so even the emotions of the mind is atma only because the mind is also a manifestation of this atma only and all the emotions of the mind is also atma so like that we have to use the mind to see atma in everything that is atma bhavana abhyasam that is number 1 number 2 is the mind has got the second job doubt samshayam we always doubt on what always we are doubting the karma phalam only every time the mind is dwelling on the samshayam the samshaya bhava always doubting oh i have written this examination whether i will fail or whether i will pass if i pass how much will be my marks i am giving small example you can apply this to everywhere if i go this if i do this way if i if i do this what will be the result what will be that result then what to do with this what to do how to get rid of it the only way to get rid of it is do your best you can't do somebody's best you do your best to the best of whatever data you have whatever ability you have you do your best and leave the karma phalam to bhagavan leave it to god never ever be anxious about the result whether the result will be this whether the result will be that never think of that do your best that's all you do your best and leave it to god and when you do your best whatever the best that you are doing must be done as ishwara puja it is a puja it is an offering to god when it is done as an ishwara puja right then we can't do much more than that we should understand that it is the manushya avastha it is our that is the maximum we can do as a human being this much only right we can't do anything more the result can be favorable the result can be uh, unfavorable that is not in our hands 
we already know that there are thousands and thousands of factors involved in the result it is not that the action that is done must fetch the result i desire okay so that is that that is the nature we can't do much more so do our best know this very clearly do your best and leave it to god even when whatever we do it is to be done as a bhagavan's offering nothing i want from it because i have no desire because my true nature is sachidananda i am ananda swarupam i am purnam i am complete i don't need anything with this notion when we do all our actions as ishwara puja then whatever is the phalam whatever be whatever be the karma phalam favorable unfavorable to be accepted as bhagavan's prasadam when it is accepted accepted as bhagavan's prasadam naturally prasadam will be the result here the second prasadam is the happiness the pleasantness that arises in us is the prasadam prasadam abhigachyati you know uh, prasadam adhigachyati so this is the atma bhavana abhyasam for the second one so one is sankalpam when you think when you see things various things see atma in everything see god in everything one second thing all the karma phalam okay all the karma phalam without doubt accept it so this is the atma bhavana this atma bhavana of the mind is the manmana the first word manmana bhava manmana bhava this is what is manmana bhava means you keep your mind established in me during this sankalpam and during this doubting so these two are the two jobs the mind does remove that put it over atma there replace it with atma then mad bhakti when the karma phalam okay when the karma phalam arise or fructifies never think whether it is a profit or loss whether it is labham or nashtam whether it is a manam or abamanam right manam abamanam etc sukham dukham all that do not do not worry about this don't be anxious whether it is a profit or loss whether it is going to hurt me etc manam abamanam etc don't think and with a pleasant face you accept it learn to accept okay be learn to accept this if it is favorable it is bhagavat karunyam if it is unfavorable it is also bhagavat karunyam it is the bhagavan's ichcha okay it is the god's will that that is happening to me whether it is favorable or unfavorable it is the, both are both are to be understood as bhagavat karunyam okay both are to be understood as bhagavat karunyam remember this bhagavat karunyam is it is even if it is we feel suffering it is a bhagavat karunyam because we know that even kunti devi said give me troubles krishna krishna you give me trouble so that i will remember you at all times at all times okay so even if there it feels there is a suffering definitely this suffering will be over through the process of atma vicharam okay so whether it is manam abamanam favorable unfavorable everything is bhagavat karunyam we need only that karunyam good or bad you decide bhagavan hey bhagavan you decide what is good for me you decide what is not good for me everything you decide this is mad bhakti this is the mad bhakti phala chinda is 100% renounced any karma phala chinda is renounced then madhyaji let it be any sort of karma <coughs> let it be personal karma okay let it be uh, karma related with family wise okay let it be family wise karma or the personal or let it be the society related let it be a society related or uh, any three types okay whether vyakti or whether it is the kudumba or whether it is with the samuham society 
or whether it is family wise karma whether it is uh, personal wise i am not going into detail of this you all know this okay so any sort of this karmas that we do then all this do all this karma to be done as yajnam yajnam you already defined yajnam right renouncing or karma phalam is not not at all what whether it is favorable or unfavorable we accept as it is we do this as an offering to god that is called called yajnam sacrifice the correct word is sacrifice all karma has to be done as a sacrifice and that is a sacrifice to whom sacrifice to bhagavan madhya ji okay so this this is the karma yoga we already explained this this is the karma yoga this repeated karma yogam this what it does it removes the impurities of the mind it removes you know it removes the impurities of the mind and the our natural pleasantness natural state of our mind which is peace of mind will be revealed and this ultimate peace is atmanubhavam then mat pranamam mam namaskuru mam namaskuru si brahmam in everything and on every namam roopam every naam roopam that we see right whether it is human being or animal or plants or the devas or the sun moon the vayu or the waters anything that you see around everything you see bhagavan there brahmam there see brahmam everywhere sarvam brahmamayam re re sarvam brahmamayam in all nama roopam is brahmam see ultimate vedanta we should never forget ultimately the pot is clay okay the manifestation of the god here the manifestation of the brahman is what you see as many and all the names and forms that you see is ultimately god alone bhagavan alone in mirage water when you see a water in a, on a desert the water is nothing but the desert only the sand only there is no water there if at all you see water the water it that appears is the sand similarly the all the names and forms that appear to you as various names and forms is ultimately bhagavan only knowing this mam namaskuru do pranams to me okay prostrate in front of me internally okay do namaskaram to all one who progresses in this route one who progresses in this path definitely will definitely achieve the goal brahma nirvanam brahma prapti brahma anubhavam peace of mind parama shanti is guaranteed definitely it will be experienced and in this life itself in this life itself this will be achieved definitely and we will be able to say dhanyoham 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 tridhanyoham i am contented my life is content i am happy i am uh, uh, fully content tridhanyoham okay and with this we will stop loka samasta sukhino bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Iti Srimad Bhagavad Gita Su Upanishad Su Brahma Vidyayam Yoga Shastre Sri Krishna Arjuna Samvade Raja Vidya Raja Guhyo Raja Guhya Yogo Nama Navamodhyayaha Om Sarvatra Govinda Nama Sankirtanam Om Purnamada Purnamidam ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸತ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾರ್ಪಣಮಸ್ತು